are the building blocks of rocks such as calcite, pyrite, silica, and iron, and are far more resistant to wear and erosion. Thus, over the course of millions of years, these minerals produce an exact stone copy of the original structure by replacing the tissues within it. The fossil remains exactly the same shape and size as the original organism, but it is composed of rock. In scientific terminology, the process of fossilization is known as permineralization. There are also a few other processes that can result in fossilization. One of these is carbonization. All the original elements apart from carbon disappear from the tissues that undergo the carbonization process. All that remains of the original structure is then a copy consisting entirely of carbon. By now, we have millions of fossil specimens collected from all over the world and catalogued in the museums and collectors' cabinets of various countries. All these fossil specimens reveal one very significant fact. All living things on the earth have maintained the same shape, structure, and characteristics since the moment they were first created. Many life forms that existed in even the very earliest geological periods have come down to the present day without undergoing even the slightest change. There is no difference between these living things that existed hundreds of millions of years ago and specimens living today. For example, present-day grasshoppers are in all respects the same grasshoppers that lived 120 million years ago. Today's lizards are exactly the same as the lizards of 242 million years ago. In short, living things are exactly the same today as they were millions of years ago in the past.
So far in this film, we have obtained local information about fossils. We have seen what fossils are and how they are formed. The fossil record heads the list of the major pieces of evidence that demolish the theory of evolution. As you will probably know, the theory of evolution claims that living things acquired their present, perfect and complex structure during a process lasting millions of years, leading always from the primitive structures to the more advanced. The truth is very different, however. Because when you examine the fossil record with an unbiased eye, you can see very clearly and distinctly that the life forms that existed millions of years ago were not primitive in the least. The fossils you are now seeing, for example, were found in the Green River Formation in the state of Wyoming in the USA. It dates back 50 million years. Let's now examine this fossil in a little more detail. This large fish is a herring. We can examine it from close up and it is clearly identical to herrings living in the present day. The fish's mouth, for instance, the eye socket on the upper section, the gills that enable it to breathe, and the fins beneath its gills can all be seen very clearly. Let us take an even closer look at our fossil. You can see very clearly the fish's skeletal structure, and even some of the tiny bones of the structure are all crystal clear. Next to it is another fossil. This one belongs to another herring species. And like the other herring, it possesses exactly the same structure as its descendants living today. Now you are looking at another fossil discovered in Asia. This one is a crocodile that dates back to the Cretaceous period. Paleontologists have established that this fossil is fully 100 million years old. In other words, this crocodile lived 100 million years ago with exactly the same features as crocodiles living today. I'm holding yet another fossil, a 75 million year old one that lived during the Cretaceous period 